Dory. Hey, hey Steph. Steph. Good hey, to guys. See you. Good morning. Good to see you. You know, Suni Lee said she always thought she would be going for silver. That's what she came to Tokyo prepared to do. And then the tables turned. Talk about rising to the occasion. A gold medal performance now inspiring a whole new generation of gymnasts. Suni Lee may not have headlined these Olympics at the start, but the 18-year-old has always been a superstar. It's Suni Lee who's in the top spot. She is going to win the Olympic all-around gold medal. On Thursday, it was her chance, and she grabbed it. The spotlight and the headlines. A younger generation of gymnasts left in awe. Suni Lee is amazing and talented. It makes me want to work harder to be like her. At home, the people who helped get her here sharing in the glow of Olympic gold. The watch party couldn't fit in her family's Minnesota home, instead filling an auditorium. Most of them members of the Hmong community, an ethnic minority from Southeast Asia. Suni represents not just her country, but also her people. I was really proud, like knowing that um, she's like someone from the Hmong community. Minnesota, where Suni is from, is home to the largest Hmong community in the country. The Hmong community always pulled together for you. In what ways did they, did they help you? Um, they helped me a lot, like they sacrifice a lot for me, they support me, um, like so much. Many fled to the U.S. after the Vietnam War and struggled to rebuild their lives. One of six kids, Suni comes from modest means. It didn't stop her father. The makeshift balance beam he made out of a two by four now cemented in her legacy, a symbol of perseverance. I watched her do her back tucks and stuff on the beam. And it's really good, so I think she took a lot of risk, and that's what's making her a better gymnast. That dedication has been tested. A day before nationals in 2019, her father, her mentor, her best friend, tumbled off a ladder. The fall paralyzed him from the waist down. At this point, I was like, I don't even want to go to championships anymore. My dad comes first. But it was her father who told her to compete. Soon he listened and then surprised everyone with a second place finish. I was just like, he's probably watching like right now. And I just know that he would be prou so proud. Now on the world stage, she thanked her team at home. Thousands of miles away, they were still right beside her. I'm gonna start crying. I, all the work I've done. I miss you guys, thank you for watching. We're basically all like family. If I don't know someone, we're all related somehow. Now capped by Olympic gold in the women's all-around, Suni Lee's story is already inspiring a legion of young gymnasts. The Twin City Twisters have a local hero, and now her dream has become theirs, too. So I think she's inspiring Hmong girls because we're all kind of like a family to charge your mastics out and work hard and be like her. Love how she's mm. already inspiring the mm -hmm. next generation I know. How and cute pervasive. Were they? <laughs> the cutest. She still has a couple of more events. Yeah. She has chances to uh, win medal, gold again. Medals to come, I think. She's got the uneven bars on Sunday. Like she's the favorite, even if Simone Biles is competing as well. And she also has beam on Tuesday. So she'll be she'll have some more hardware to bring home to those little girls. That's kind of yeah. oh, That's a hell of a beam her dad yeah. built in that backyard, yeah, by yeah. the way. Right, <laughs> and just to think that he could do it, to just yeah. get the two yeah. like, I'm just gonna make you a beam. Yeah, and he said he couldn't afford incredible. to buy one, so he built one. That's yep. an, yeah. And then she just starts flipping off. Yeah, wow, wow. <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty, I think it pretty great. needs to go in the Smithsonian yeah. now or something. I would agree, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Thank, Thank you, Steph. Up next on the Friday morning, our visit 